you see, I've been in relationships with women that I liked a lot, but I didn't respect. And this is the thing. Them liking you, you have no control whether or not somebody likes you, right? You do have control whether or not you turn them off, and you do have control whether or not they respect you. Them liking you, them having affinity towards you, them having chemistry with you, you have no control over that reality. But what what tends to but what tends to disappoint is when you meet is when you meet someone and they're a great person. But for some reason, they let you get away with everything. You know, I, I bet one time I I was I was in a relationship with this girl a few years back, and I and I completely forgot <laughs> her birthday. I'm not even kidding with you. Like I completely forgot because a few days prior, I got extremely sick. Like it, it was I I'd never been so sick in my life. Long story short, I just completely forgot to say happy birthday. You know, like that was my fault, and she didn't know I was sick right like that's like i really messed up like i'm like and i was and i was going out with her for about two, three months or so so i'm like ah fuck you know i'm supposed to meet her today you know and i didn't meet her we we, we ran into each other because she lived close by she was like hey and i was expecting her to uh, to say something to be mad because i'm not gonna lie it is disrespectful it is disrespectful you know You've been with her for a while. She told you her birthday multiple times. So it was almost like me getting a hit. And she acted like nothing happened. She was like, hey, so when, uh, so when, we, when, when am I going to see you? And I'm like, oh, um, yeah, let's hang out tomorrow. Sure. And I remember after that, I'm like, oh, f like I thought she was going to say something. And the reason why I thought she was going to say something is because I assume, I assume she, you know, she, she's an assertive person. She's strong. She stands up for herself, you know, she, and I like, I like those qualities. I like that quality. But then I realized that it wasn't true. What was inside, and don't get me wrong, I still liked her. I still liked her. But, but, but then I started noticing, I'm like, okay, what else can I get away with? You know, I started being a little bit, a little bit more late to the dates, you know, and, and, and don't get me wrong. It's not that I was just down right being disrespectful. It's just that you don't have that sense of urgency no more. You know, you, you, I, I remember naturally my, my romanticism went down. Like we, and, and I, I always got the sense that she just wasn't going to say something. And, and a part of me would do things so that she could say something like, so I could, so that she could stand up, to, stand up um, for herself. And months went by and it was, ladies and gentlemen, father Alex is not a mean person. You know what I'm saying? Stuff, stuff, the disrespectful stuff that I'm talking about is being late. Um, it's, for example, um, let, what else? Like being late. Uh, or for example, when when she would come over, I wouldn't initiate physical contact. Like I just knew she was gonna initiate it. So there was no, like, there was no effort on my part. And usually I put a lot of effort. Usually I'm I'm the one who's who's very thoughtful about that kind of stuff. But the thing, what I wanted from her was for her to just say something. You know, and there were times when she would say like, one time we were supposed to go out for dinner, and she was like, "Hey, where do where do you want to go?" And I just forgot to respond to that. And she, we were gonna go out. We were gonna we, we were gonna go out two days from from that day. And I was like, hey, so um, where do you want to go for dinner today? Um, what time we, we meet for dinner? I asked her. She was like, "Not. I, I thought we weren't going because you just didn't respond. And I'm like, what? Like, what do you mean I just didn't respond? I, 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 And I looked at the message. I'm like, oh, I didn't respond. But then we had a complete conversation. I'm like, but why didn't you say something? She was like, well, I, th I just assumed your silence was just a no. I'm like... I, 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 I was like, look, look, let's have a talk, man. Look, my love, listen to me, man. Look, look, I, I understand. I could, I, 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 I could be a little. I don't think I'm intimidating, but I, I understand. I could. I, I'm a, I'm a very willful person. I, I get it. But listen, you gotta say something. Like, if you think I'm not, if I didn't respond to something, don't just assume. Just say something. You, you gotta speak up. Sometimes I even told. I was like, look, man. Like you, you, you gotta speak up. I bet sometimes you're not happy. I bet sometimes I say things that you don't like. You gotta say something. 
you know and, and and then she was like okay i'll try and i'm like what do you mean you fuck in my, in my mind i'm like bitch what the fuck do you mean you'll try like is this how you in my mind is this how you are in most of relationships and a few months later like it, it's i left because i'm like okay look man this girl is great but it's like there's no backbone there's no backbone you know and it, it, you know, it, it was one of those relationships where I sort of like, I was like, like, I, like I could literally take advantage of this girl and she just won't say something, you know? And, and, and this, in this occasion, what she should have done, she should, she should have called me out on my bullshit. Cause every, everyone is going to disrespect everyone at one point or another, consciously or unconsciously. And sometimes some partners see you and say, yo, in their minds, they think you're weak because they can sense that you don't want to leave, that you want to be there no matter what. And this inspires disrespect. Sometimes people act out and disrespect you so that so that you could prove to them that you're that you're not weak. And the reason why is because most likely you're sending them signs of weakness. You're doing something that's communicating to them that they could take advantage of you. Nobody wants a weak partner. Only manipulators and narcissists want a partner who doesn't speak up, who doesn't stand up for themselves. Remember, generally speaking, when somebody doesn't know us, we usually have an outward appearance that is often exaggerated and deceptive, right? We This outward appearance is the appearance of confidence and self-esteem. But what happens is that once they get to know you, they can look underneath what supports that. And, and they could they could look underneath the center of gravity and see the hub of all power and movement within you. And they'll be able to see through you because they'll notice that you can never speak up. They'll notice you're too meek. You're too submissive. You don't stand up for yourself. You hold in your anger. Your partner notices, notices that and senses your weakness. And it's not that, it, 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 listen to me, it's not cute. It, to some people, it, any healthy partner will want you to show some fangs. Sometimes people want people if they. Sometimes if somebody who really likes you needs to see you leave, so that they can respect you. You've gone so far, you, you you've allowed them to disrespect you so much that the only way for them to actually respect you is for you to leave. There's been times when I've been in a very similar situation like this and the and the woman left, right? And people, I'm not an evil person. I'm just saying that like like anybody, if you let somebody get away with disrespect when they know they disrespected you and you don't say something, they get they're naturally not going to respect you. It's like working at a job and being late and expecting them to say something and they don't say something. What if what that what do you think is going to happen? You're going to be late again. They need consequences. They need to see you leave so that they can know that you've grown. They need to see you walk away so that they can know, okay, you know what? I have a strong partner. I want this person. I don't have, I don't have a little bitch that lets me walk over them. Because your emotional resilience matters when it comes to, you know, being a good partner. Nobody wants a partner they could, you know, walk over. Because when you have a kid with them, that means their your own your kid is gonna walk over them. You know, if you're a man and you're easily walked over by your woman, what is she gonna think when a man is trying to hurt her? What are you gonna do? Like all of those things matter. You know, having boundaries and being willing to walk away says a lot about your character. It just says a lot about them. Like for example, like I I told you guys how I was talking to this girl and. She was always late, always late. And, you know, at first I was like, okay, what the fuck is wrong with this girl? And then after like a few dates, she, she, we were supposed to meet up and then she just didn't respond. And I'm like, okay, look, okay. I like said, look, we're, don't text me no more. Don't text me no more. I told her that. And a few months later, she texted me. She was like, hey, I'm so sorry about that. I, I know I didn't appreciate your your time i didn't mean to do that i'm like look i'm not I, I, I thank you but i don't want to deal with you this is how you see me i don't want to i don't want to deal with you but thanks for the apology and she was like oh wow toxic i like that let's hang out i'm like 
I swear to God. I swear to God. I looked at my phone. This is my this was literally my face when I saw that. I'm like, what? You know? And 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 this is how some people really are. They wanna they wanna test your strength. People wanna test your strength to see how whether or not you're their partner. Niceness, too much kindness, too much forgiveness pushes people away. I am telling you, man, you could you could go for you could do more you make more mistakes you make more mistakes being too kind versus being a little bit rough around the edges you want to develop the reputation of being difficult of being of being difficult when someone's being difficult with you you want to develop the 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 reputation of 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 being willing to destroy the whole relationship if you're not getting your way not in a toxic way but that's just how that works people like, too many people want respect without the work that it takes to get respect. Too many people want respect without leaving, without standing up, without risking losing someone. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Let's watch this. This is from the 33, th from the 33 Strategies of War. Threatening presence. Deterrence strategies. The best way to fight off aggressors is to keep them from attacking you in the first place. To accomplish this, you must create the impression of being more powerful than you are. And that usually is from appearances, from your nonverbal cues, from the way you walk, from the way you talk, and even the stories you tell of situations when you walked away. It's very important to tell people your victories of walking away, your victories of not standing up for bullshit when you first meet them so that you can set the tone. Build up a reputation. You're a little crazy. Fighting you is not worth it. You take your enemies with you when you lose. Create this reputation and make it credible with a few impressive, impressively violent acts. And those impressively violent acts is not committing a felony, ladies and gentlemen. It's when people disrespect you, which will happen, you just walk away. You just stop texting. You get petty. You get you, you get petty. If they're 40 minutes late on the date, like, like I was, yo, I... I Man, I, I was a, this one girl last week, man. She she was supposed to come meet me, right? And I was, I, I, I got there early. And it took her 45 minutes to get on, to meet up, to, to meet on a date. After the 40th minute, I left. She was like, hey, I'm here. I left. You want to know why? Because every single time this a woman is that late. I'm telling you, in my life experience, this woman, it never worked out. There was a lack of, a lack of complete disrespect. And, 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 and your rational mind will say, okay, it's no big deal. You're just, they're just late. But listen to me. It's a test. Some people see you and they say, oh, I'm better than you. They literally think that I'm better than you. They look down upon you. Especially if they're richer than you or from a different, um, I was going to say different planet. They look down on you. And this is how they show you that they look down on you. Through those little passive, aggressive disrespect. Disrespect that don't seem like disrespect, but is disrespect. Disrespect that they could easily gaslight you for saying, well, you're making a big deal out of it. Fuck that shit. I don't give a fuck. If they start gaslighting you, then that's a red flag. You should walk away. Okay. Uncertainty is sometimes better than overt threat. If your opponents are never sure what messing with you will cost, they will not want to find out. Play on people's natural fears and anxieties to make them think twice. Mm -hmm. Reverse intimidation. This is honestly one of my favorite chapters. Inevitably in life, you will find yourself facing people who are more aggressive than you are crafty, ruthless people who are determined to get what they want. Fighting them head on is generally foolish. Fighting is what they are good at mm -hmm. and they are unscrupulous to boot. You will probably lose. Trying to fend them off by giving them part of what they are after or otherwise pleasing or appeasing them is a recipe for disaster. So this is pretty much when you deal with people who are pretty disrespectful towards you. Trying to please them, trying to fight them, will not work. But the key to these people is to prevent the problem before it starts. 
Too many people are trying to gain people's respect. What I tell them is, fuck that. Leave everyone that don't respect you and start new. And make sure that each person that you meet, they know that you are somebody who's willing to walk away. If you, that will give you more results than trying to win over people who already see you and think that you're, 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 you're pretty much just something they walk over. You are only showing your weakness, inviting more threats and attacks. But giving in completely, surrendering without a fight, hands them the easy victory they crave and makes you resentful and bitter. It can also become a bad habit, the path of least resistance in dealing with difficult situations. And, that, and this is the problem. That girl that I was telling you about, most likely, she was punished for standing up. She lost maybe a, a, a partner because she stood up. And in her mind, the way to be loved and to stay loved is to stay quiet. Listen to me, man. There are some people who really want to respect you. But you don't give them a reason to respect you. It is completely your fault that they don't respect you. It is completely your fault that they don't treat you with the love and kindness you feel like you deserve. And this is under your control. And it comes down to you being sick and tired of the bullshit. And finally speaking up. You'd be surprised how many people change their behavior by you just changing your tone of voice. You showing them your anger. You showing them your resentment, your bitterness. You being willing to walk away. Some people will even say, th literally, some people will say, thank you. Thank you. They will literally say that. It's like kids who have parents who who are, I was going to say pussies, but who are parents who are passive. The kids resent, the kids wish they had a parent that punished them. They wish they had a parent that showed them love through punishing. Some kids really do say that. And they act out in the hopes that their parents can finally stand up for the, to them. Instead of trying to avoid conflict or whining about the injustice of it all, consider an option developed over the centuries by military leaders and strategists to deal with violent and acquisitive neighbors. Reverse intimidation this art of deterrence rests on three basic facts about war this this is my i always talk about this and human nature first people are more likely to attack you if they see you as weak or vulnerable second they cannot know for sure that you're weak they depend on the signs you give out through your behavior both present and past third they are after easy victories quick and bloodless. That is why they prey on the vulnerable and weak. Deterrence is simply a matter of turning this dynamic around, altering any perception of yourself as weak and naive, and sending the message that battle with you will not be as easy as they had thought. Some people just want to see you angry. Some people just want to see you finally stand up for them, stand up to them. And, you know, again, the point of this message is not to be a bunch of Terminators out there, right? But to just realize that you're wrong about human nature. Humans respect people only when there's an underlying tension, meaning they don't want to see your bad side. They don't want to see your angry side. And so you keep the peace through strength. But when you're trying to be this kumbaya, lovey, lovey, I'll forgive everything you do, then you're just going to inspire disrespect, man. I'm telling you, man. And people don't like that. They don't like being around people they don't respect. Only narcissists do. So find out all of those relationships that you have, even with friendships, that they don't really respect your time. They don't really respect your opinion. And even those relationships that you're in, and just leave them. Just leave. Those who really like you, those who really liked you, and... And, and, and wanted to respect you, they'll come back and say, you know what, my fault. I'm glad you did that. You were right. I, I'm, I'll, I'll make sure not to do that again. I'm, I'm telling you, man, your relationships will get better once you start cutting all of those negative relationships. The ones that are meant to be will come back with changed behavior and then they'll stay respectful towards you. This is how you do it, man. All right? All right. If you want, if you want to learn more about this, just check out my new course in... Um, my new upcoming courses by clicking in the description down below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy 
to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, <laughs> um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know, it, you know. Now, the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy. Right. This one would this one would teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kayo Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video, right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.